Hello guys and welcome to our next tutorial in which we will be talking about Boolean data types. And Boolean data types is something that will be used a lot in our programming. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, so uh, the way a Boolean is, if this is your first time hearing that and you're like, what the heck is that? Um, basically, um, let's just get to the um, how it's used and what it does first it will explain the most okay so the way you write it is just a bool okay and you assign just like any uh, character to it so let's say we say x and we say this is the tricky part the boolean can hold two values in it or the, either true or false okay so it can only hold two things in it basically uh, not numbers not strings not characters not special characters or anything either true or false okay so basically kind of like a yes or no um, does it exist or it doesn't exist so you would only use this in the cases where um, there's con there could only be possible two answers okay so uh, the cat is dead or the cat is alive right um, it, the item is in stock or it's not in stock right so and based on those answers uh, based on this you will do something in your program later we will learn how to do that but for now just think about it this is only two answers uh, can be in there okay so true or false so you can just basically put true like that and it will store in it okay so see how it's kind of blue uh, just like this but basically if you uh, type anything in here it won't work so if you do um, capital T this is also not gonna work so you can't store the capital T in here um, so it has to be true of this kind or it can also be uh, false okay so um, so this will work as well okay one thing that I do want to point out let's print it see what it does okay so let's do console and let's inside put our x okay and see what happens we're gonna do control f5 and it puts it in in there as a false okay so and if you notice it converts from the small letter to the capital letter okay so that's what it does internally and that's how it stores in it okay so this is going to be used a lot later when we're making decisions in our program and we would say hey if this item goes out of stock we gonna display um, you know warning that come back later or order later you know um, and stuff like that so if you only have two different um, uh, two different answers two different options that you can only put in there we can only use that operator okay so boolean data types is only for two different things and a lot of times you know there can be maybe or can be this no this is only for two different answers okay so we will get to use it we'll get to play with this we're going to use this a lot in our programming um, and if this is your first time looking at this you might be a little confused um, but as as soon as we start using them um, we will we will get to know it and we'll be piece of cake okay so i will see you in next tutorial